So for this project, you will need one table saw. You will need two one by six by six. You will need one one by three by four, a tape measure and ink pen, some Gorilla Wood glue, a paintbrush for the glue. You will need stained color of your choice. I went with the classic gray. You will need two handles and some gloves. You want to first start out by measuring your cups, the your cuts, the one by three by four. That is going to be where the handle is going to go. You want that at 22 inches. You're going to get two cuts out of that one. Your one by six by six, you want four even cuts at 29 inches. You're going to then take your saw, you're going to line up your mark. take your larger board which you measured at 29 four even pieces at this size. Now once you're done you'll have two even cuts at 22 inches which is going to go this way and you will have four even cuts at 29 inches wide, two at 22 inches long. You're going to glue all of these together and you're going to sand off the rough edges. So next once you have all your pieces cut you're going to assemble the four boards together and these are the two on top which the handles for lifting will go on top of that. So I'm going to um, finish gluing the boards all together and then we'll come back and stain and once the stain dries we'll add the decal. Once the board is all dry from the glue then you're going to start adding your stain. You don't need a brush, you can just use a cloth and start rubbing it on. Get this other glove on. Now this might take more than one coat. Just keep adding on the stain until you achieve the color that you desire. I'm going to do the bottom also so it will be 
covered completely. So once it's all nicely dry, then you're going to add the handles. My husband is going to assist me here. Now that it's all dry, handles are on, you're now going to draw your crest in the center. So I'm going to be using chalk, so if I make a mistake before painting, I can just wipe that off. Make sure you keep a wet paper towel on hand in case you mess up. And I'm going to put the date of our marriage. in the center. I can make that center better. So I'm not the greatest artist, but this is our crest and I'm going to fill this in with white paint and I'll show you the final look. You can put a clear coat of varnish to uh, seal everything in. I'm not going to show that on camera but it's basically the same technique as you would do if you were um, painting. Just get a soft bristle roller type brush and do it that way. And I'll be back with the final look. You're going to want to make sure that you use a very thin artist paintbrush. When you're painting the leaves, you can just actually go in and paint inside the center. I'm using some acrylic paint, but if you have some white house paint, it might work better because I'm going to actually have to put more than one coat on here. So you just want to go in and fill in all the petals. So that's coming along pretty good. So here is the final look of my wooden stove cover that I did as a DIY. And I must say it came out really nice I did a great job on this project uh, it was a lot of fun and it will add that extra little touch of decor in my kitchen
Uh, so this is the final look. If you like this project, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed to my family to see more uh, home decor DIYs. And um, I would love to welcome you to my family. And thank you for watching.